So hey guys, this is Ornish and today I'm gonna be recording about how I use Glyscor, the Vampire and the Electric Bat, who is awesome in design, awesome competitively. Just look at the design, he's so cool and so derpy at the same time. So just before just so you guys know from before, this is a double strategy guide, not a singles guide. Although the strategy works well in singles too, but, uh, just know from before that this is what I use in doubles, not in singles. So here's what I use. As you can see from this picture, Monsang is a really good Pokemon to use Sword Dance with, and I didn't even know he had Sword Dance until a fortnight ago, and I've been using Glyscore all my life. So, that was a really great moment when I learned he had Sword Dance. And so, I, uh, as, soon as, I learned, I, as soon as I learned he had Sword Dance, I gave him Earthquake, and I have absolutely always hated the Toxic or Poison Heal strategy. And for all of those of you who are with me, and how gimmicky that strategy is, watch this video. Get a much better strategy. So, here's how you do it. So, as you, if you guys had watched my uh, last video, you'll know that I re I use Bronzong with Glyscore. Uh, you don't really need to use Bronzong. Uh, you could have any good defensive, special defensive Pokemon who also have good attack and who can learn Earthquake and have Levitate. Hmm, what's that? You don't know any Pokemon like that? I know one, Bronzong, go use him. Don't use anyone else. Don't make that mistake. So, after you pair him up with Bronzong, here's what you should do. Uh, Bronzong is a really good special defensive tank. Uh, if you think that your opponent Pokemon are both uh, faster than you, go for the Trick Room. You two shall be the fastest Pokemon on the field. If you think that, uh, if you can see that they are flying and levitate Pokemon, like Rotoms, Articunos, Zapdos, Star Actor, Star Flame, things like that. Just go for uh, Gravity on Bronzong. Sword Stance on Glyscore because uh, Fire Tape doesn't really kill Glyscore. It does have a chance, to, Mega Charizard Y does have a chance to kill Bronzong one shot KO. But just in case that happens, you see Mega Charizard Y on the field. Switch out, guys. Uh, nothing can withstand a hit from Mega Charizard Y. I mean, almost nothing. I'm not saying Onyx can't. And, uh, I think you probably can't actually. I just forgot every single rock tape Pokemon I've ever known. Ah, forget it. So, anyways, here's what you should do. After you pay him up with Bronzong, Bronzong has levitate. So, uh, just, like I said, set, set up on the first turn with gravity. You could go for the gravity to get rid of all those ground type weaknesses. You could go for the trick room to become crazy fast. You could go for toxic to hurt all those defensive Pokemon. And then go for the sword stance on Glyscore. And Bronzong can just keep stalling them out by using Earthquake and causing neutral damage, which the opponent really will want to get rid of. So they'll try to hit Bronzong, waste turns to hit Glyscore. And Bronzong will really be absorbing all those hits. Glyscore will just be standing there sword dancing. Uh, just be standing there and sword dancing. And once you get 3 into attack, although I prefer 4 into attack, go for Earthquakes, kill things, nothing stands in your way. With gravity, absolutely nothing. So after that, let's look at the stats Glyscore has. His HP is average with 75, attack is really good 95, with sword stance, it becomes uh, level 100 obviously Glyscore is, and with a helpful nature, so his attack is 317. So 317 to 4. Yeah, 1200 plus 34 into 2. So that's 1268 attack what what you're hitting Pokemon with 1268 attack you still think they have a chance to survive that well Bronzong is using earthquake too they don't have any any strategy to block this ha <laughs> ha except for clear smog gotta hit that move but not really anything else so after that Let's look at his maximum stats. His HP is 260 minimum, minimum without a helpful nature and no EVs or IVs. 354 maximum with maximum EVs or IVs and a helpful nature. Attack minimum 175, maximum 270. Defense minimum 229 and maximum 283. For the special attack, 85 minimum, 207 maximum. For special defense, 139 minimum, 273 maximum. For the speed, 175 minimum and 317 maximum. He has a total of 510, which does not look too overpowered, but once you take that 4 into attack into consideration, you've got a god there. 
Where is your Arceus now? Where is your magic arp now? This is the actual god. Bow down to vampire. Bow down to god. Bow down to Glyce god. So, after that, let's look at the ability. For his ability, go with Hypercutter. Uh, for all those people thinking, oh no, this guy's got 4 in the attack, I need to get Intimidate onto him. Uh, Hypercutter, it won't lower your attack. Don't go for Poison Heal, man. I'm not running Toxic Orb. In case you are, then, yeah, obviously you have to go for it. But, I do not enjoy Toxic Orb Poison Heal. It's a pain for the opponent, it's a pain for me to use, I hate using it. So, you guys might enjoy it, and you guys could enjoy it if you wanted. But for this strategy, I think Hypercutter is the best thing to do with. So, go for the Sword Stance. As I said, make it 4 into attack, or 3 into attack, whatever, you're still gonna kill. Still gonna kill. So, Earthquake. It's gonna kill Pokemon when if Bronzer has got gravity up, and it's gonna kill Pokemon if Bronzer hasn't got gravity up, and the opposing opposing Pokemon aren't Levitate or Flying types. So that's how I run him. The toxic, just to damage to all those defensive Pokemon like Chestnut. Go for the Stealth Drop, if in case you see a Charizard on the guy's team, waiting at the end just to dish out damage. Go for the Stealth Drop. Charizard in instantly reduced to rubble. After that, uh, go for the item. For the item, it's I run Focus Sash. I mean, although you guys could say that his attack, defense and special defense and HP are already so good with 291, 286, and 249 respectively. <coughs> Sorry guys. Why would I run Focus Sash? There's only one problem. Ice types. So, for that I run Focus Sash. If an uh, ice type does want to hit you, go for the... Uh, you know, focus sash. Uh, not really. If a, I, if you see a ice type on the opposing team, what are you doing there? Get out of there! If you see a Pokemon like uh, just forgot. Okay, anyways, if you see a Pokemon who you believe has ice type move, do not stay in. And uh, if you uh, do can't understand if the opposing Pokemon has ice type move, like I don't know, hit one chan, he might carry ice punch, he might not. Go stay in. See if he has it. If it doesn't, it'll be really good. Set up sword stance again. If it doesn't, focus sash will protect you to come back and dish out damage later. So that was my strategy upon how I use Sky Score. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a subscribe, leave a like, comment upon uh, comment any suggestions you would like to make, comment any better teams you would like to see, comment any Pokemon you would like to see analyzed, and I am gonna try and do them. So thank you guys for watching and stay awesome. Oh, ah, sorry. <laughs> so, you also have another item. You could also run Citrus Berry. Because Glyscore has good defensive and special defensive bulk. So, when Pokemon hit Glyscore, they aren't gonna do too much. And once he d once they do get him down to 40, uh, 40 HP, Glyscore is probably gonna already have 4 into attack or 3 into attack. Citrus Berry is gonna restore his health. Go for another Sword Stance if you have 3 into attack. Or just go for the Earthquake and kill things. So that really was it for this strategy guys and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later and as I said any suggestions in the comment section below. Bye! Stay awesome, guys. Bye.